Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Discovery in VR. As you can see, it's got a very similar taste as Minecraft. But this is your maximum moving speed. Uh, you do have a teleport. Teleport's great. I can fly around. But doesn't do a lot of good when I want to be up in the air and I have to fly at this speed. Uh, that is probably the most irritating aspect of the game. Uh, as you can see, I've done a lot of just a little building, uh, experimenting with the different blocks, and the, the list is very small. I'll show you here. Let's see, we got nine pages of blocks. Uh, it does have slanted blocks. It's got some weird things like pipes and uh, things like that. Uh, for the most part, though, it has very basic pieces. You can wire lights. Uh, bottom right over here, there's a light switch and a light, and that uh, star, looking like the Star of David, is, uh, is wiring. Uh, so you can wire these places up. Um, but yeah, I've just been uh, playing around a little bit. It's, it's hard to stay into it because it is slow, uh, slow paced. I've just been having a little bit of fun. Um, but, you know, deleting blocks, if uh, you're using the controller, is R1 and R2. I found that double tapping gets the job done a lot faster. But again, the slow movement, I'm constantly having to jump forward and whatnot. Anyway, I... I it's a builder. I mean, you you can you can be creative. You can build some cool things, but it will take you uh, a nice generous amount of time. Uh, I built this statue and in the beginning of that the other day. I decided to stop and change it up. I have been playing uh, for ten minutes now. It says, and in ten minutes I have done uh, this this area you see here. And uh, this was just a wall, so I dug into the mountain. I uh, started doing what I was doing, and, uh, you know, this is how far I got. It's not as far as you can get with Minecraft. I'd love some dynamite to just stick down here in one of these little holes and, you know, make the expansion happen faster, but it does have glass. It, it does have fences of different types. Uh, you know, it's it's got lava, water, slime... Uh, wiring of lights, all sorts of basic blocks. Uh, my word of advice is do not play a game with the animals on. Make sure you choose an extended map, uh, something without them, turn the animals off. They are annoying. I dug to the bottom of the game and I could still hear the goats. So uh, yeah, and the goats do not sound like goats. Uh, so if, if, if you wanna keep your sanity, you know, you, you should probably turn that off. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's got a snap rotation system as well. Um, the world is extended. It does go, it does go pretty far. Um, but uh, there is not a ton to this game, which is a bummer. I wish the developers would have taken a little bit longer and, you know given us a little bit more, but for the basic builder and somebody who just wants to kind of fart around since there's nothing else on the PSVR, uh, like it, unfortunately, uh, this is, it's an okay game. I, you know, I give it five out of 10. It's, it's, it, you can build, you can build just like in Minecraft, but it takes some time. This is again, my full movement speed. Um, and the whole fact that I can't teleport through the sky is very frustrating. So I've learned, um, you just like want to lay blocks in random places so that you can travel to, uh, higher points. It will help you advance through the game. Anyways, uh, thank you for checking out my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Just have a good day.